One of the most powerful takeaways I had when delivering the playbook to my cohort of middle schoolers is how introspective they already were and how informed a lot of them were and they just didn't really know what to do with what they knew. The really special thing about Playbook is it gives people action steps and it gives people a way to use the experiences and the hardships that they've faced to make the positive change that they wanted to. You can learn so much um, from just listening and understanding what everyone is pondering in that playbook scenario. And it reminded me that that is a huge leadership quality that I think everyone should learn and take to heart when they're leading their own playbook trainings. Our young people are the next generation of politicians and leaders and athletes, artists, etc. And so if we really focus our energy on them, I think we could create a longer lasting change and a more tolerant and compassionate future. Now is the time because if not now, then when? There's so much power that comes within saying your truth, telling your story to other people that will not only increase empathy, but also compassion for others. And compassion is really what drives motivation for change. I think future playbook trainers should remember that they are learning as much from the ambassadors as the ambassadors are learning from them leading the training. A lot of students and a lot of youth now are very much the center of attention and the catalyst of a lot of the movements that are occurring. And it's happening because if we aren't going to do this now, the normalization will continue for decades now, just how it was before. I think this education is crucial and, you know, it's not an easy thing to learn and sort of grapple with. They all had very different opinions, but um, they were able to sit down um, and sort of have a respectful conversation with one another and really listen with the intent to learn. They are able to recognize these forms early on in their lives so that they can spend more time fighting them and they can spend more time developing a love for community and their fellow humanity so that they don't continue to progress the issues that we fight against in their lives. You know, by giving them space, by honoring silence in the group, um, you are going to propel them to coming to conclusions on their own about how they can be vulnerable and identify where justice needs to be served, how to um, peacefully promote accountability and equality. Social media has been such a big influence and how has it become such a big influence? It's through sharing, through reposting, through liking. The algorithm is centered around what an audience focuses on the most and the same thing could be applied to the Playbook Initiative and having those open conversations. Once you start a conversation, someone that can overhear you can literally just take it in, digest it, and just take it in with another friend or their family members. I do believe that it is my responsibility and the responsibility of everyone around me to help create a better world for the next generation and our current generation and that we can all play a positive role in it and that not only that we can, but that we must. My name is Don Tran. My name is Jack Bridges. My name is Soleil Wasp. My name is Skylar Rimple and I am a Project 351 Playbook Trainer.